I am. Yet what I am, none cares or knows. Welcome to Kermit Uncut. There's a new film coming out on DVD very soon called By Ourselves. It's part documentary, part drama, part sort of art house invention, directed by Andrew Cotting, of whom I'm a big fan. And it stars Toby Jones, and it is the story of the poet, John Clare, who made a journey, an 80-mile journey, on foot from Epping Forest to Northampton. And what happens in the course of this film is that Toby Jones, kind of playing John Clare, retreads that journey. Meanwhile, we hear Freddie Jones narrating from John Clare's book. Freddie Jones played John Clare in an omnibus made in 1970. So there's a strange sort of relationship thing going on there. And Andrew Cotting himself appears on screen dressed as a straw bear for reasons which, well, kind of make sense when you see the film itself. He's been described to some extent as an embodiment of the madness inside John Clare's head. Anyway. The film is very elusive and very entertaining, often very funny and very strange, and it involves some interviews, some documentary stuff, but there's also a very dramatic element. But I want to flag it up because, firstly, it wasn't seen very widely in cinemas. It played a very, very limited release. And secondly, because it's a film by Andrew Cotting, whose work, even when it baffles me, remains something that I'm very interested in. You may well know Cotting's work. He's an artist and filmmaker. He's been compared with Derek Jarman. Some people think that he is sort of the living embodiment of Jarman's legacy, and I think there's, there's a lot of mileage in that. He made a film called Gallivant, which was like a clockwise tour all around the coast of the British Isles. A very interesting film, won a major award up at the Edinburgh Film Festival. And then, of course, This Filthy Earth. And there'll be no marrying till you up the pain. Do you hear me, boy? Which is a sort of loose adaptation of Emil Zola and is a film which is spectacularly tactile. And one of the things I like so much about Cotting is that his films, which often seem to be more like art installations than films, but they still work in cinemas, is this great tactility that they have. When we were reviewing the remake of Far From the Madding Crowd recently, I said that one of the problems with it was it didn't feel dirty enough. It didn't feel like it had its hands and feet in the soil. Well, in the case of this filthy earth, it is a film which absolutely lives up to its director's aims to make a film which reflects both the beauty and the brutality of the landscape that it portrays. I love this filthy earth. It's a really terrific piece of work. Anyway, By Ourselves is coming out uh, on disc. And I flag it up particularly because when I first saw it, when I reviewed it in the cinemas, I think I was slightly lukewarm about it. I don't think I really got a handle on what it was. But since then, I've thought about it a lot. Individual images from it have stayed with me. Individual sounds. It's a film which the soundscape is very important. And I was just flicking through the television channels the other day, and a clip of it came on TV. And it suddenly made me think, I really want to see that film again, because I think there are riches in there that I missed the first time around. Anyway, it's an Andrew Cotting film, so it's always worth checking out. It's called By Ourselves, coming out on disc. Give it a watch, and let me know what you think, because I think it really is something special. I'm just not quite sure what. Hey, what are you doing in my valley? No, we're filming John Clare. John Clare? Yeah. That's not John Clare. <laughs>